Hello people and welcome to XCOM Enemy Within. I really like this game. I've uh, finished it a few times, never on classic difficulty. I did play uh, hardcore mode a few times. And um, yeah, well, figures uh, since I enjoy playing it, why not record some, some of it? Uh, this is going to be the very first time I'm going to play on Classic. This is going to be... Um, how to say... Um... Squaddies are going to die. That's how that's how I'll play and say it. Uh, I don't need a, a, a beginner VO. I don't need that. Um, I don't need a melt tutorial or tutorials. It's a bit of a pity. That it, I do like the original tutorial and the fact that it adds more a little bit more story with that mission where everyone in your squad dies and you see the. Uh, soldiers trying to figure out what the hell happened to all these civilians. It's just an interesting way of putting it. But uh, no, I'm not going to do that because it limits your options just uh, a lot. Uh, so uh, we have all these options on. Wave. Do I want to do anything with second wave? So many options here. Do I want to do any of these? I do like this option. I don't know what Marathon does. Uh, let's just do nothing here. Let's keep it simple. Uh, classic Iron Man started. of the recent extraterrestrial incursion, this Council of Nations has convened to approve the activation of the XCOM project. You have been chosen to lead this initiative to oversee our first and last line of defense. 
Your efforts will have considerable influence on this planet's future. We urge you to keep that in mind as you proceed. Good luck, Commander. Yeah, I'm gonna need it. Now, um... I barely ever used this. This one is nice to have. Uh, this one is also rather nice to have, actually, but it's also really easy to get with two satellites. Um, now, this one is really good to have early on. Lots of early income. And this one is uh, better later on when you have lots of aircraft to maintain. However, I'm still going to do Europe due to the fact that I actually live in Europe. See, that li this little country right here, the Netherlands, that's where I'm from. And I have friends all over the place, so, yeah. <coughs> Let's see where it drops us. We'll be deploying to Russia for this one. We've picked up a local broadcast indicating alien activity within a major metropolitan area. We should get down there and eliminate any hostiles. I have half a mind to just leave them there since stuff that's going on over there in Russia and Ukraine and such. Yeah, let's... In the fight against the aliens, humanity stands uh, together instead of separately. Let's do this! Uh, launch the mission. Um, this is classic, it is... Um, let's see... Strike this one, mission. this is central. You are free to engage all hostile contacts in the AO. Don't take any chances. Don't interrupt me. Um, like I was saying, classic. First mission. That means three groups of Probably three sectoids. Um, I don't see much proper cover around. Uh, this is half, this is half. Uh, where does the battlefield end? The battlefield ends over there. I can't go anywhere with proper cover without dashing. I hate that. Go. On the move. That's what we're looking for. Eyes on target. What's the best cover available here? That's all right there. I believe we actually have someone from Russia on our team. Or it was someone else. Yeah, I haven't checked the flags properly. Overwatch, that one is also on Overwatch. Let's see, Christophe Roux is from France. Uh, 
Crawford is hard to see from his angle. Uh, I'll have to check it out later. Bernard uh, is also from France. How? Oh, what's that? Oh, no, uh, no, she's Canada Canadian. She's. Let's see if she can throw. Ah, oh, damn it! She can't throw the ball. Get rid of that one. No. Yeah. Going out. <laughs> Boy, keep on missing. Uh, stay there. Can you hit that guy? Yes, you can. Sixty five per cent possible. If I hit, I could have uh, could kill him with a grenade. I'm not going to kill it due to the uh, boost it gets from the mind melt. Uh, let's do this. turns. Oh, that guy is going to shoot on one of those. Um, That's two death. Uh, Christoph has two de uh, kills. Crawford and uh, Crawford and Bernard still need to have a kill at least. Smartest move on my part. I just realized. Headed 
What I mean by saying that wasn't the smartest move was that if there were aliens in this area within range, uh, sight ring range of uh, hell, they would have been able to start attacking in, the, uh, in their turn while hell was out here in the open. X-ray spotted. It's that the aliens are apparently right there. Again, only one. Can I take out some of the cover? Nope. This is even more limited than before. He also has a good shot on one of the aliens. She, my bad. Uh, let's take out. That's what I like to see. And I still have the one. Uh, shot left. Go there. Go for it, for it. Can you grenade them? Probably not. Nope. Strike one. And if we I have it. The labs are on high alert. Teams are standing by for your orders. We can begin researching the newly recovered artifacts immediately. So that's two canisters of meld recovered. Uh, zero operatives lost. Or even injured for that matter. That's really good. Especially for me. Even on f first mission usually I get some injured people. And... Uh, especially and every time it happens it happens due to stupid mistakes on my part so yeah and I got all the aliens yeah. that was really nice was a good mission good run could have gone a lot worse commander to the research labs commander to the research labs welcome to XCOM HQ commander I'm Central Officer Bradford. My role in this project is twofold. Providing tactical support for our field operations and keeping you briefed on the current situation. My efforts should allow you to focus on the bigger issues at hand. 
Speaking of which, we have a soldier waiting for a promotion in the barracks. I'll let you get to it. Four soldiers waiting for promotion. An exemplary performance. Let's hope all of these operations go as smoothly as this one did. Uh, don't count on it. Let's see, we have Christophe Roux from France. Fire rocket, he, he's a rocketeer now. Um, Bernard. Commander to the research labs. Commander to the research my sniper. Labs. That's short ability. Crawford is my support. Uh, from America. America! And a smoke grenade. And over here we have Jane Hall. Assault running gun confirmed. The recovered artifacts are being unloaded and the research team is waiting your orders. We'll get started as soon as you give the order, Commander. Button fragments, see the bell line. Commander to the research labs. Commander to the research labs. Uh, meld is nice and I recommend starting the research in it rather early on, but not too early. There are some stuff you really want to get from your research and your engineering. Hello, Commander. My name is Dr. Farlan. I oversee the research labs. This is where all of XCOM's research and development takes place. We have already begun analyzing the artifacts recovered from our first encounter with the aliens. Based on our preliminary findings, we believe we can use them to develop some new equipment for our soldiers. With your approval, we will begin research immediately. Start new research. Commander to engineering. Um. Commander to engineering. So yeah, meld, uh, xenobiology, crucial that we gain thorough understanding of alien physiology in uh, order to develop, develop weapons and tactics to better suited to combating them. Very true. Weapon fragments. These fragments are all that remain of the powerful alien weaponry we've encountered so far. Further study could lead to advances in our weapons to uh, pro uh, programs. Alien materials. The aliens appear to be using materials that are lighter and stronger than anything we've ever seen. Cursory examination has already given us ideas for ways to improve the soldier's current body armor, but more research is required. And of course, Commander melt. To engineering. Commander to engineering. The invaders appear to have deployed canisters of this strange substance in human populated areas, perhaps as an experiment. And also, may, it might also be a weapon of some kind. Further analysis could shed light on its potential dangers and applications. Uh, I think xenobiology followed by materials for defense. And then, yeah. I do love my nanofiber vests. Commander to engineer. I agree, that does seem to be the most pressing of our current research options. We'll begin immediately. I will notify you when a complete report is available. All right. Ah, Commander. I was wondering when you'd be stopping by. Welcome to engineering. Anything they can dream up in the research labs, we can build it here. Speaking of which, Dr. Valen has just sent us some new schematics. With your approval, we will begin fabrication. So, uh, we have medkits and we have satellites. Um, how is our layout? Layout. Uh, Commander to mission here control. Here here. Commander to mission control. I've had worse. I've had better. Uh, 
We have a single satellite uplink. Commander to mission control. Commander to mission control. I can't go to the situation. I'm going to grab the one satellite that I can build because I will probably need it for panic reduction purposes. Uh, I will also grab a single med kit. And with that said, let's go to the barracks a few of the soldiers uh, do I want to start fiddling with names yes or no you know what let's put it this way if you want your name on one of my soldiers I will do that but if uh, you can put it in the comments below and I will use your name for one of my soldiers. I can't promise that I he or she will survive, but I will try to make the person survive as many missions as possible. Um, so I'll be looking uh, to the comics for the comments for that. Other than that, we will just continue on. Scan for activity, see what happens. Commander, we picked up multiple requests for assistance. Abductions in progress are marked on the hollow globe. So we have money, we have engineers, or we have scientists. I can't check the situation room on how bad things are. Seems that Mexico is rather low on panic. Argentina, on the other hand, is rather high. And it, I got engineers, which is also nice because I can use those for faster production uh, of uh, produ uh, producing uh, better. Um, uh, what's it called again? Anyways, they speed up the production of certain items, which is always good. Uh, of course, speeding up research by going to Australia is also a possibility, but uh, choices. Anyway, this is an early mission. Uh, we can probably do it with a bunch of rookies again. Probably. And I'm probably going to risk that. Um, that's it for the first episode. I'm going to set up the next squad. And after I'm done with that... Uh, well, you'll see me in the next episode.